Steve, we're here at YMT uh, in Yeovil. Um, we're talking about State Monitor. Mm -hmm. Now, firstly, can you explain what it is from Heidenhain? Yeah, it's, it's a new PC-based tool that we have. That is, uh, I say, PC-based uh, machine data acquisition system for monitoring the productivity of all your machines in the machine shop. Okay, now why do you need it? The reason you need it, there's a lot of reasons. When your machine is not cutting metal, it's not earning any money. And the state monitor will monitor that. Give us some examples of, of scenarios because I mean we've got yep. the machine operating in the background here and I'm sure we'll see over the next couple of minutes you mm -hmm. know situations yeah. that, that you can elaborate on. There's, there's plenty really, uh, it could be component loading, unloading, it could be checking or inspecting the path during the cutting process. Uh, the machine may even go into an alarm condition and we can pick that up on the state monitor software as well. Okay, how important is it to have or incorporate something like this onto your machine? Uh, it's incredible the cost savings that you can actually make from the state monitor software um, when you realise how much time the machine is spent in an idle condition it is quite quite amazing. So we've we've just seen here yep. Dave stopped the machine or the machine has stopped said now that spindle's not going. Yes. Yeah, so That's what you're picking up on. Exactly. That's what you're measuring. Yeah, we would flag that up in the state monitor and people can monitor that to improve the productivity. Uh, one example of companies that have utilized or could utilize software yep. like this. Uh, one example is they've got five machines. Each machine has 30 minutes undetected downtime per day. That's a total of two and a half hours of lost machining time. Mm -hmm. If each machine runs at 70 pound per hour mm -hmm. over 260 days, which is the equivalent of a year, I suppose. Yes. That's 45,000 pounds in lost machining. Yeah. Is that how you sell it in the same way I've just portrayed it? Exactly what you've just said. Yeah, the savings are quite remarkable. Okay, how, in, how easy is it to implement with you being Heidenhain and this machine having a Heidenhain control? Um, tell us about that setup. Yeah, implementation is very easy. We can come in and load the software to a PC as long as your machines are networked it will talk to the software and we can connect machines within five or ten minutes. So let's talk about the, the primary features then. I want to get into the nooks and crannies of exactly where you're getting information from. Okay, the primary objective is to monitor all your machines in the, in the workshop and when we do that we can look at the production side of the machines, so the setup and the loading and unloading of components, how much time is spent in each aspect of that. We can look at the program is there too many dwells in the program, the tool change sequences in the program, and, and eliminate and optimize that time. We can also look in, even down and monitor the feed rate override pots for the spindle and the feed rate override. So again, if an operator has turned those down, the machine is not being as productive as it, as it should be. We can pick that up on the state monitor. Also, we can monitor the tooling, how the tooling's been used, how frequently it's been used, which tools are being used the most, can they be used more often or in a more efficient way. Um, we monitor the alarms on the machine, any alarm or fault condition or any maintenance requirements on the machine. We can pick all these things up in-state monitor, which ultimately will increase the productivity on your machine. And how do I, how do I access or view what's going on and monitor it? Does it have to be on my, uh, on my desktop or can I use my iPhone or even my iPad? Yeah, you've got full remote access either on your iPad or uh, smartphone. Uh, anywhere really so yeah and what about notifying somebody if there is a, a concern or an issue or problem yeah there's um, a messenger function built into the state monitor software where you can notify the right person for the right reason why the machine has stopped and how does the licensing work as well is it a cost per machine or is mm -hmm. it cost we can either sell a single machine license or one, one license covers up to 30 machines because you've stated that most machines are probably less than 60% efficient. Mm -hmm. And I can completely concur with that. I mean, yeah. once again, we've just seen this machine stop behind us yeah. and Dave's gone in to maybe measure a part. Mm -hmm. If you were 60% running, at, if the machine was running at 60% of the time, if you can get it up to 80, that's, that's the difference, isn't it? Yeah, we have examples already out in the field of the state monitor software running. And we have an example where a customer has identified that the feed rate override pot was being turned during certain shift times. And also that their loading and unloading of components was taking far too long. They addressed both of these issues and did increase the productivity from 60 to 80%, which effectively is a 33% uplift in productivity. To me, there's, there's, there's many things about that. It's not just making the parts faster, it's potentially retaining customers and um, business survival mm -hmm. could be couldn't it yeah. by monitoring a machine it, it could change completely yeah. how your business um, is run um, 
Finally, how do people find out about this? Is there demonstrations they can, they can see, they can get? Can they find it online? Can they talk to you guys? Yeah, it's all available on the website at hide9.co.uk. And we also do offer a free trial of the State Monitor software, where we would install the software and let you trial it for a predefined period and you can evaluate it for yourselves. And is it just for machining centres or does it work on five axis machines and you know, a multitude of, of, yeah. of styles of machine tool? It will work on any machine tool, yeah, with high nine control and we do support other controls as well.